To create an EndNote library, go to File, New. The default name is My EndNote Library. You can change this if you wish. Click Save. Our references will appear in here. There are many ways to add references. We are going to add references manually through direct export from a database. To add a reference, click on References, New Reference. The default reference type is Journal Article. In most cases, you can directly export into EndNote. However, if you wanted to add a website as a reference, you will need to add it manually. Change the reference type to web page by clicking on the down arrow and fill in the required fields. Please note, if you are entering a corporate author, you will need a comma at the end so that EndNote doesn't think it is a person's name and formats correctly in your bibliography. Example, Australian Taxation Office. Author name should be listed one per line. Surname, comma, space, and initial. Be careful of punctuation, as an error here will be an error in your bibliography. Click Save. Close the window by clicking on the X in the top right. We now have our first reference in our library. Direct export from Library Search. From your search results, select the references you want to add to EndNote. Click on the pin beside the results to save them to your favourites. Select the pin from the menu to go to your favourites. Select one or more references to send to your EndNote library. Select the ellipsis. Select Export RIS EndNote. Click on Download. Other databases will work in a similar way. Look for an export link or button. This may be under Save in some databases. Groups are folders used to organise your references. Your EndNote library could have hundreds of references. Groups help you organise them. Right click My Groups, select Create Group and give your group a name. Press Enter. Highlight the references you would like to place into groups and drag and drop them into the group folder. These are a copy of your references. Deleting a reference from a group does not delete it from your library. You can delete or rename groups by clicking on My Groups and selecting the relevant option. To completely remove a reference, click on All References Select the reference you wish to delete and drag and drop it into the trash. To move it completely, right click on Trash and select Empty Trash. You will get the warning message that this cannot be undone. Click Yes. EndNote uses two files to hold your references, your EndNote library file and the associated data folder. These need to be together at all times. To make sure of this, do not move your EndNote library into a different folder and always use the compressed library for saving a backup. To save your library, select File, Compress Library. This will keep these two files together. Save onto your computer, a USB or in the cloud. Do not open this file from the cloud as it may corrupt your library. Simply drag it back onto the computer you want to work on and then open the file and continue working. Giving this file a date is good practice. In part two, we will look at working with the EndNote toolbar in Word.